comparison. Here we are at PAX in yes. Boston. Uh, what brings you to PAX? Egotism, I think. Was that a, is that valuable? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Expand on that for me. What does that mean? Just no. came here to have uh, people high five you? Yeah, pretty much. No. Okay, um, cool. well, I, here, I'll give you cheers. Hey. Mission accomplished. Go now. We're done. Uh, Thanks, folks. Tune in next week. I um, I did the stuff for for Child's Play, which is the Penny Arcade charity uh, sort of branch of their industry, and um, I'd always heard about PAX. I, a few friends of mine had gone. Um, I can't make it to the West Coast when it's the same weekend as Dragon Con almost every year. Mm -hmm. And so they've been doing PAX East for a few years now, and I was like, oh well, they've got an open submission for panels here. Maybe we can do something. So I, I got in touch with you, and I got in touch with Bill Doran and Xander Brandt, and uh, you know, my my prop making buddies, peeps. And I said, hey, let's let's do a panel, and we put a thing together, and we assembled it, and I. I kind of want to have this similar conversation about how to get into yeah, you know into yeah. this techniques uh, processes. I, I like talking about that with people because I think that a lot of this time they they see a finished piece and you, you hand them a rifle, you hand them a helmet, you show them a picture, and they're like, I don't see how that came from wood, right? Right. And, <laughs> right. You know, and resin and and silicon. Like I don't. There's there's a huge leap between these things. Yeah. And I want to be able to tell people like, it's just time. It's just. It's, it's just energy and time and dedication, and it's really you sitting down and working on this thing and working at it and working at it and working at it and continuing to work at it until it is as perfect as you can make it. And, and, and showing them that you don't necessarily have to buy a $50,000 CNC mill. You, know, you can do this stuff with a Dremel, you can do this with sandpaper. And it's, it's mostly the dedication that you need to bring and put into your piece which is going to make it fantastic, mm -hmm. more so than the training, more so than the tools, more so than the most expensive automotive paint you can buy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's more about the work you do. And I want to come here and I want to tell people that and I want them to believe me because I think it's true. I believe you. I appreciate that.